in Mother Ramadan month, Muslim blood spilled again, again persecution, terrorist Israel, let our hearts not ache in a Ramadan, don't let bad news come from Palestine in a Ramadan, Israel should not shed Muslim blood in a Ramadan, Zionist Israeli soldiers are terrorizing and killing humanity with an armed raid on Masjid al-Aqsa, the first Qibla of the Ummah. But the Ummah is not from there. The world is not there. Are Palestinian Muslims so worthless? Every Ramadan, cruel Israeli soldiers attack Masjid al-Aqsa. He pollutes the holy temple with his dirty boots. He is persecuting our Palestinian brothers and sisters. It's bleeding. But the world is quiet. The Ummah is sleeping. Yes, the Ummah sleeps against its brothers, but it is always on the lookout for the world. He doesn't forget which show it's on tonight. He doesn't forget how many times the game is over this week. He doesn't forget which song he released. He doesn't forget what the politician said. He is always awake for the world, but when the frame is turned to Palestine and Jerusalem, he suddenly falls asleep. Isn't it time for the Ummah to wake up? Isn't it time for Muslims to become one? Isn't it time for the Ummah of Muhammad to worry about his brothers? When will you wake up for Jerusalem, for Masjid al-Aqsa, for your Palestinian brothers? There is a war between Russia and Ukraine, right? Even if it is not active, it is not considered finished. The eyes of the whole world are on that area. All agencies get breaking news to the press. Because there is a war. Russia is trying to invade Ukraine. Russia is killing innocents. There is an invasion attempt. There is blood. There are innocents. I don't call it a two-faced world for nothing. Russia is trying to invade Ukraine. But what did Israel do to Palestine? Of course they are Muslims. They have no values. Examine the maps. Palestine was destroyed because of the Israeli occupation. One Gaza, one Jerusalem. Has it ever been on the agenda as much as the war or occupation in the north? Did the agencies enter what's going on last minute? Has the eye of the world been on that region? Our teacher Najmedin Urbakan said, There is no spring with a flower, but every spring starts with a flower, is our hope. We are waiting for that spring to come. We are waiting for that spring when the persecution ends, Palestine is free, Masjid al-Aqsa is free, and Jerusalem is free. Conquests can only happen with the conquerors. Of course, a conqueror will come, who will conquer Jerusalem like Salahatin Ayyubi. Mothers will raise fatties, yuvus and selims like the Salahatins. I hope the Ummah will not be so humiliated. I hope the blood of the oppressed will not be left on the ground. Yes, we can't do anything but pray. We are two billion Muslims, but we are not as powerful as a neighborhood. If two billion Muslims were one, that cruel Israel would suffocate with his saliva, but the Ummah is not one. In itself, my money is in pieces, broken into a thousand pieces. May Allah have mercy on our brothers who were martyred in this blessed month of Ramadan, and condolences to the whole Islamic world.